Hey guys, what's up? I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be filming my senior portrait makeup tutorial. Um, some people have requested that I do this because their picture day is coming like right around the corner. Mine passed. It was like the second month that we came into school. So yeah, I got it over with. But these are pictures. If you can't see them, let me take off the little reflective um, wrapper. That's how they came out. I actually really, really, really do like them. So I just wanted to share my makeup tutorial with you guys so that you guys can have a great matte base for picture day. So I first started off on my brows. So the product I use is the ABH Dip Brow Pomade. These are all the same products I always, always use. And now I'm looking over here is because I have my mirror over here, sorry. I have the most weirdest setup ever, but it works. So I just comb out my brows real quick. I just start dipping my brush in there. I start off by filling in the bottoms like so. Light strokes right here to the tail of my brow. And then I just drag a little line from my arch down to the tail. And then I slowly start filling in my brow. Going to let you guys know that I did get accepted into all four Arizona State Universities. And so far, I still am deciding at what school I would like to attend. But once I know, I will let you guys know. But yeah, I got accepted into all the universities, so I'm really, really excited. Um, I was offered two full ride scholarships to Arizona State University and then one to Northern Arizona University and that's because of my GPA and my grades, not necessarily my test scores. I mean I'm still in frame but I just drag the little brush over my arch and then connect it. And then I just comb it out and then I'm going to do the other eyebrow and then I'll come back. My Fit Me Maybelline Concealer and then I just apply the concealer to the tip of the bristles of the brush. Look straight and I just damp it and then damp it again. drag it up for the arch of my brow I just go like so and trace the top of how it already is I still have not started to apply for scholarships and I need to get on that because I'm on fall break do the other one off camera so I stop rambling and I'll be right back okay. so once I'm done with my eyebrows I go in with this Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion and it is the original one. I just start by priming my eyelid and prime both of them like that. This primer out, I'm going to be using my ring finger and I'm just going to be blending this all the way to my brow bone. Okay, so for picture day, I used the same palette, this white shade right here, and yes, I hit pan on it because that's the only white shade I own. I mean, the Take Me the Brazil one too, but that one's super patchy, and this one comes, it like glides on super smoothly, especially with this primer. So I just lightly dust this all over my lid, taking this shade right here, which is on the bottom of this super bright orange, was this one right here. It's like a salmon color and I just lightly buff that with the same brush. So then I just place my brush right here on the outer corner and do circular motions all the way to my crease and back down. 
down here and back up until I get the desired blend. Then I go in with my M433 brush and then I pick up a darker shade that's right next to it. It's like right here, this one. It's like a chocolatey light brown. And then I just dust off whatever is left. And I just lightly place that right here on my outer V and then bring it up to the crease. And with that, I don't really care too much if it's on my eyelid or anything because that's when I go in with the glitter. The Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow in Bronze Bell. But what I do is I just place it there and I look up a little so I know where I need to place this glitter at and kind of like let it go there and then I drag the glitter. If you guys do blink, it's gonna transfer onto your like eyelid height. It's gonna transfer up here to your like brow bone if you move too much. I'm going to start going in with my mascara after this, and then I'm gonna go do the other eye, and then I'll be back. But this look is really, really simple, and I kept it simple because I knew I was gonna have to. Um, do my makeup quickly after I came from my friend's house. So Leslie, she did my hair for picture day and she did it really well. Like, I can't even curl my hair that well. I can't curl my hair at all. Am I lying to myself? Here, um, my mascara looks because I'm gonna apply falsies. If you guys don't like to wear falsies, just make sure you curl your eyelashes before you apply the mascara. So that they really stand out but while this one's drying i'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye off camera and i'll be right back i really hated the lady on picture day because she didn't want to let me see my picture and i was like girl i'm paying for them so if you do not let me see the picture i will stab you this is how i did my eyeshadow and then the next step is to apply eyelashes. I'm going to be using um, my Coco Lashes and Goddess. I um, blend my lashes with the fake lashes by taking the tweezers and pressing on my lash band against my eyelashes. The eyelashes are ready. Let me just try to get this a little bit closer. You were left in. Okay. Next, I take my lash color and I just lightly press on my real lashes and the fake lashes like so so that they're up and out of the eye. Okay, next, I'm going to be moving on to my face and since it is like a base or whatever, I'm gonna talk about my core classes, my GPA, and how that helped me get into universities. This is the Maybelline Baby Skin um, Primer and it magnifies your pores and all that. So I use this before I apply my foundation. I got one B and that was in my, what well, class was that? My science class, it was my biology class because I had a sub and um, I had a real teacher, right? But then that real teacher left. I'm not tripping because a B is fine. Like, I don't like care as long as I get like my full rides and stuff to universities, as long as you have A's and B's. Try to not get C's, but if you have C's, maybe try to retake them because, I don't know, the higher your GPA is, the more money the universities will most likely offer you, and it just looks really good, especially if your um, grades are high. I'm top 5%, and yeah, I'm just like, I don't know. 
I feel like high school is really easy to complete and I'm actually in a program where I'm in um, dual enrollment classes but with the college so I'm taking classes with college and it is the achieving a college education and that's ACE and that's basically what it stands for. And I'm glad I joined that program it's just so much work. Oh I forgot to tell you guys what foundation I'm using. This one's the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick foundation and I bought this one week before picture day hoping that my makeup would come out really nice in the pictures and this one actually matches my skin tone like really well. Next thing I do is conceal my imperfections. My Match Perfection Rimmel London um, concealer. This one's in the shade medium and I'm just going to apply that like I normally do. Another tip to keep your face super matte is to use a powder. I literally picked this up like two days before I took my pictures. This one's the Ben Nye Luxury Powder in Banana. But I'm just pressing this into my eye. Eggs are my dark circles. And then down my T-zone area right here. And yeah. And then I start to bronze up my face. Still haven't got a new NYC bronzer because, guys, I don't really do my makeup every day. So, like, you already know the drill. These are the two I use. This is a Betty Luminizer by the Bomb Plus Minutes and then the Becca Champagne Pop Highlighter. Guys, I need like new products. Like literally, I feel like a broken record repeating the same thing I use in every video. Like I'm not even gonna say anything. I'm just gonna like, if I do like an eyeshadow look, I'm gonna just do that like instead of doing my whole face because I feel like I just do the same thing over and over and over and over again. And that's why I got it like super super popping but make sure you blend it so it doesn't look too harsh and then instead of bringing it down my whole bridge I just did it like right here you know and then I blended it down here I don't know where my Lilo and Stitch socks are but I bought some when I went to Flagstaff to go visit my sisters. I don't know where they're at. I'll find them right now. So I can show you guys how cute they are. But next I'm going in with my ABH um, matte lipstick in the color Ashton. And the tip I have for you guys is to um, wait Literally, before your picture to apply your lipstick. Not literally, like, don't do it like a second before you go on. But I recommend doing it before your picture because then it comes out super matte and then it won't crack throughout the whole day. You guys. Ooh, almost far enough. I went for my socks so you guys can see them because they're super cute. Okay, I got these from Hot Topic. So cute because they have stitch all over them. And I was literally looking for them everywhere at the Hot Topic by my house, but I could not find them. And I was so glad that we went to the mall because I was like, I'm gonna go scoop these up for myself, you know? So I am done with my makeup that I did for my senior pictures. This I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe below. And yeah. And I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Honestly, I feel like graduation is coming up super quickly. And I need to get all my shoes knit. You know, like, 
I need to get it together. But senior year is coming to an end slowly, but surely. But it's coming, actually it's coming like really quickly. Like I haven't even, like last year I was barely a sophomore. That's how it feels. And I'm already going to graduate this year. I'm so excited to get like, no, like kind of don't want to grow up yet, but I'm super excited to like leave for university and start um, from scratch.